What's up guys? Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles and today we're going to talk about American Airlines and how we can travel for almost free using American Airlines Advantage Miles. On this channel we talk about credit cards, real estate investing, and personal finance. If those are things you may be interested in, please give us a chance and hit that subscribe button. And if you find any value at all in this video, please hit the like button. Guys, I want to get right into it because I don't want to waste your time. and I want to give you as much valuable information as I can in the shortest period of time. Today we're talking about American Airlines, which for me is my most traveled airline. May not be my favorite, but definitely most traveled. And some reasons for that is American Airlines is the largest airline in the world. They're based in Dallas, Fort Worth. They have 10 hubs that they fly out of. And they are a member of the One World Alliance which consists of 14 members. They also have some, some special partnerships with other airlines that aren't actually members of the One World Alliance. So to sum that up, American Airlines flies all over the world. So let's see how we can accumulate as many American Airlines Advantage miles as possible. So the very first thing guys is you have to sign up for an American Airlines Advantage account. Now, my recommendation is, as soon as you get into this travel game or this credit card game, is to find a huge list of airlines, find a place in your phone to download all the apps and get membership numbers to all of them. Now we have our account, we can start accumulating miles. Obviously, one way to accumulate miles is to actually fly the airlines. Now, I'm assuming you either do that or you plan on doing that really soon. So I'm going to go into some other ways that we can really rack up airline miles. American Airlines is a little bit trickier than some other airline currencies because they do not have a, a partnership with any transferable currency. Chase Ultimate Rewards do not transfer to American Airlines. American Express Membership Rewards do not transfer to American Airlines miles. City Thank You Points don't either. So now we are left with co-branded credit cards. but. Fortunately for us, there are some fairly lucrative American Airlines credit cards out there. We're going to go over just a few. Now, these are not going to be full reviews of credit cards. I just want to give you the basic rundown of what they offer. These are all cards we want to get if you want to rack up miles. It will be up to your personal style uh, in the order or preference for the cards. Now, we're going to go over a few different cards. They are in no particular order. You will need to find out how many American airline miles you are trying to acquire as to how many cards you want to get. Me personally, I will probably get all these cards. The first one I want to talk about is the Barclays Red Aviator card. Now Barclays is a bank that is inquiry sensitive. Um, a lot of people will refer to them as having a 624 rule, meaning if you have opened up more than six accounts, in the last 24 months, they won't approve you for a card. I don't know if that's true or not. I do believe when I opened my Barclays Red Aviator card, I was well over 624. Anyhow, this is what the card does. The card will get you 60,000 airline miles for your first purchase on the card. Yes, one purchase, 60,000 miles. I did test this also. I went to a carryout and I purchased a piece of candy for my son. That's the only purchase I put on the card for the first few months and I did receive my 60,000 miles. 60,000 miles for your first purchase. The card comes with a $99 annual fee that is not waived in the first year. So if you're scoring at home, 60,000 airline miles for $99 plus a stick of gum. The card comes with a few benefits, and like I said, we're not doing a full review, but the card will get you your first check bag free. The card has preferred boarding. You have the potential to earn an anniversary companion certificate if you spend $20,000 or more on the card your first year and leave your card open for at least 45 days after your anniversary. The companion certificate will cost you $99. I don't recommend that benefit at all. I don't recommend putting $20,000 spend on that card. Our second card we're going to talk about is the Citibank Advantage Platinum Select World Elite MasterCard. It has a $99 annual fee and it is waived in the first year. We have also reviewed this card on one of our past videos if you want to check that out. Uh, the card comes with first check bag for free, preferred boarding. This card will net you 
50,000 miles for the low spend of $2,500 in the first three months. Pretty good sign up bonus. 50,000 airline miles, $2,500 spend. I think that's a no brainer there. Third card we're going to talk about here, um, and this is going to be your preference. Um, I have given this card a not recommended in the past, and I do believe that I'm changing my tune on that. I think this card is in my future at some point. It is the City Advantage Executive World Elite MasterCard. This is a 50,000 mile bonus for $4,000 spend. Not bad. This card comes with Global Entry and TSA PreCheck. If you don't already have that, it's kind of going to go along with your package for Flying American. Um, this card also comes with an Admirals Club membership. Now, if you do fly American or you plan on flying American, you are always going to be seeing these Admiral Clubs. They're not super easy to gain membership. I think the yearly membership is $650. So it doesn't always make sense to pay that. However, you could get this card, get the bonus, and the card also has a $450 annual fee. One special point of this card is you can have up to 10 authorized users. So if you know any very close friends or family members that you could trust holding one of your cards and they would like to help you out with that $450 a year annual fee, for access to Admirals Club, then this card may make sense for you. Okay, so those are the three credit cards that we're gonna talk about first. Spreading that out, you know, maybe one card every three months, you're going to be collecting 165,000 American airline miles. I value American airline miles between 1.6 and 1.8 cents per point. That's not going to be the same valuation other people give it. But like I said, I use them more than any other airline and I have seen some really good value in using their miles. Now, besides credit cards, how can we rack up the Advantage miles? American Airlines Advantage shopping portals. Now, American Airlines Advantage has one of the better shopping portals and sometimes you can earn 10, 11, 12, up to 15 miles per dollar spent. If you're not using shopping portals, you need to look into it. The American Advantage shopping portal is a lot like Rakuten. Rakuten, you're gonna earn cash back or American Express membership rewards points. Obviously, with the American Airlines Advantage shopping portal, you'll earn miles. So when things like Christmas, holidays, school clothes come up, you can really rack up the miles. Another way to gain some miles here and there are surveys. There is actually a third-party company in which you could participate in surveys and earn miles. I wouldn't recommend doing this because it is time consuming and I don't think you get a whole bunch of value for your time. Another way to slowly rack up the American Airlines miles is through the American Airlines Advantage dining program. This is a program where you link your card to the program and you search for lists of restaurants that participate in the program. You will then earn between three and five airline miles per dollar spent at these restaurants. If you live in a rural area, it may be a little difficult to find participating restaurants, but if you're in a major area or a major city, you will have plenty of options. And like I said, you can slowly rack up the points. And it's easy, it's no work. And folks, that is not it. I know a lot of my viewers are big league bosses, so this is your boss level bonus. Obviously the credit cards we talked about were good credit cards and you will rack up quite a few American Airlines Advantage miles. Another tip I wanna give you is if you have a player two, a spouse, um, they can also get the same cards. So you could potentially double that 165,000 airline miles in a very short time. But our boss level bonus, both the Citibank and the Barclays also have business variations of these cards. Business cards won't count against your personal credit. They won't count against your Chase 524 rule. And you would be really surprised in who all can qualify for a business credit card. If you've ever sold a pair of Nikes on eBay, or you've mowed a lawn, or you've done anything for money, besides your W-2 job, or anything that could potentially make you money.
like do YouTube videos. You would then qualify as a sole proprietor of a business. So, City Business Advantage Platinum Select MasterCard. This card is basically going to be the business version of the personal card we just reviewed. Little bit different bonus. This one will be 65,000 airline miles with 4,000 spend. Similar benefits with the check bag, the preferred boarding. Uh, the bonus categories are a little better. Uh, these aren't really cards that we're gonna use a lot for daily spend. But this card also has a $99 annual fee that is waived in the first year. To me, this is a no-brainer. If you can qualify for a business card, I would snap this up. Second, we have the Barclays A Advantage Aviator World Elite MasterCard. This card is $95 a year. It's not waived in the first year. And this has sort of a tiered bonus. It's a good bonus though. Um, it's a 75,000 mile bonus and it's tiered this way. 65,000 miles after $1,000 spend. Pretty easy to do. You're gonna get a 10,000 mile bonus after one employee purchase. So you get an employee card for your wife or your employee and if they make one purchase, you're gonna collect another 10,000 miles. Um, now the other benefit this card has is this card can actually earn EQDs on your yearly spend. If you're not familiar with EQDs, we will likely do another video on American Airlines Elite Status Programs. And EQDs, in short, are part of the requirement to qualify for different status tiers. So guys, in short, if you were to acquire all five of these credit cards, you could potentially just in bonuses receive 305,000 American airline miles. And with the different partnerships and the fact that they are the largest airline in the world, you could fly around the world with just paying your taxes and fees. So for those of you that have lasted this long, I wanna ask you a question. Please comment below if you were to acquire 305,000 American airline miles and you had to use them right now, where would you go? And guys, that's all for today. If you made it to the end, I thank you. And if you got any value from this video, please smash the like button. And if you wanna see more content like this in the future, please subscribe. Thanks.